Hi, I'm Dan from Stratatech, and I'm going to show you the Mia Test 140-50 current coil, which I've got right here. This current coil has both times 25 and times 50 poles. This is the times 25 pole and the times 50 pole. On this side, you have your ports. You've got a 50 port, a 25 port, and then a positive port, which you use for both. Used in tandem with the M143 calibrator from Mia Test, you can generate up to 1,000 amps of field current. And with a different calibrator that can put out 30 amps, you'd be generating 1,500 amps of field current for clamp meter calibration. And that's only for five minutes. So at 1,000 amps, it can run continuously. At 1,500 amps, you're rated to five minutes of continuous use with this coil. Now I'm going to show you calibrating a fluke clamp meter with the M143 calibrator in tandem with the at 140-50 current coil from Mia Test. We've already made our connections here using the banana test leads into the times 50 pole. So let's set up the calibrator for the measurement now. We're going to go in the functions down to DC current. Because we're connected to the coil, we want to enable that inside the menu. So you go menu, coil times 50 on back to our current screen, and you can see it's already dialed up to 1,000 amps. So we'll take our fluke clamp meter, place it right here in the middle pole, and now let's get that to operate. And you can see we've got 999 amps DC showing, so that's a very accurate measurement for both, oh, and there's 1,000. So now it's stabilized. And that's a good reading for both the clamp meter and for the calibrator. So we can stop the operation, disconnect our clamp meter, and that's how you calibrate a Fluke clamp meter or any other brand of clamp meter using our MiaTest lab equipment.